Well, we only have one thingy, so well, we have jellies. Just yeah, should I do it now? Eat the yeah. There, I mean, there's there's no sense in really. Uh... So what are what's our goal right now? We uh... go to the red salon on the first floor. As long as we, have we looked around the room, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to the red salon. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardo Piaggi. So we should go through the other rooms, but they're all locked. So if you see anything as we're running by that's not locked, let me know. Nope, it's not even an option. Maybe we can find keys or something. Maybe, yeah. Well, he said sometime later, right? So maybe... <gasps> oh! Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. We'll see him later. Oh, which way are... I gotta turn around. That way. Oh. We want to go towards the stairs, so wherever... That is correct. The frame rate. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Oh, he said it out loud, so maybe. Oh. <laughs> For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh dear. This looks like an orgy happened. Um, oh, they no, summoned Satan. No, this looks like. You so can summon. Oh, you can could, summon could... Satan and have an orgy. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's one. They go hand in hand. Why not both? Yeah. Well, they lit, left the candle lit, and that's a fire safety hazard, so. Are we still summoning Satan, or is it over? Did I miss did it? Sa did Satan already get here? Like, look how many beds are in here. There's clearly this some clearly, boning happening. Yeah. There's some blood on the floor. Oh, no, that's just the tip pattern on the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Gonna take your stuff. I found a box containing... What kind of white crystals? It's coke. Consume the crystals. <laughs> That's that looks like it might be raw coke. Am I wrong? Or? No, no. Well, see what it tastes like. <laughs> Ugh. Do we poison I really ourselves? Need to stop tasting everything I find now. Exhausted. You just encountered an immunity. One effort point is locked. Oh, we have to use a golden elixir to cure ourselves. Uh, which one is that? Do we have a... <coughs> Sorry. So we don't have science, but remember that one time I accidentally found those drugs and I called you because I was scared? Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Just get just, rid just of them. Just get rid of them. <laughs> Obviously. I was like, oh, I honestly thought, like, the police were going to find me because I found... Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what you going to do? What you going to do when they magically come for you? Like, they would somehow know I had these, like... I had never seen drugs like that before, so I didn't understand what it was at first. So, these were somebody else's. These they were weren't not... mine. Yeah. I, I was just, like, opened up this tiny box being like, what is this? And it was like... 30 November, 1791. <laughs> My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. What year does this take place in? 1790 1793? So this is two years ago? No, I mean, it's got to be closer than that because I, well. We, it's, lo we had it's looked some, up and it's, it's somewhere very close to the, that letter. Yeah. You, well, you said it was going on during the revolution. Yeah, so the revolution ended in, what, 1799, I think? Well, it's it seems like it happened relative like within a reasonable amount of time. Third of November, seventeen ninety. No, that's the same one. Oh, okay. August twenty fourth, seventeen ninety two. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. 
I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. I like how they read the letters. So we don't have to do it? Yeah. So there's like cultic shit. Cult, cult, cultic? Cult, cultic. Culty. Cultic. Cult shit yeah. all over the walls. And I have to say, is this done by the people who own the place? Or was this a guest? And if so, very Well, this rude. is Elizabeth's room. So, so Elizabeth lives here? Hold on. There, I think there's one more thing on the desk. There's one more letter. This one. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. So do you think that the uh, horrible woman she's referring to in the letters, this, I'm sure, so Elizabeth lives here, but the horrible woman referred to in the letters is his so, mom? Huh, go into the thing. Yeah, I think it is. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into polite society. Oh, Elizabeth she's immune to, to psychology. psychology. Yeah, we got it. So, yeah, I think that they're probably talking about his mom, who is the leader of the Golden Order? Golden Order? Golden Circle? Um, so... Seems... She, I feel like she's a very rude guest, first of all. Hmm. A lot of, like, did she, I understand that she's summoning the devil Took or all the whatever. the paintings down. Oh my gosh, did they rip all, it looks like there used to be wallpaper and stuff on here, and it was all ripped down. Like, was this on here before she came in, or did she come in and rip it down and was like, I knew it, you put me in the demon room, again. Hmm. Mm. Do you think that she was saved with, like, science? Quote-unquote, like, sci-fi science? Yeah, yeah. Or do you think she was saved by demon stuff? I'm interested at on whether, whether she was already having whatever, like, that, that made her, like, do these types of things. Like, that the, 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 the illness or that her sister was talking about was, is this the illness or is this, like, a... Like a a result of like the quote unquote treatment. Do you know what I'm? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they said that like she was dead. Like he saw her die, and then we see her and she's Maybe. got a, a really cool side shape and a really awesome like scar. badass scar. So really, she's been upgraded in a lot of Maybe ways. Maybe they brought her back to life, like necromancy type shit. That's what. And I'm so saying. now she's connected to like the demon world. Oh, cool. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, yeah, did did they bring her back to life, like, Frankenstein style? Oh, or yeah. did they bring her back to life demon style? Or maybe it was both. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's what I'm wondering, because it seems like the, the, well, it's too early for Frankenstein era stuff, but. That's her, that on the did they just let her ruin this room? Uh, they didn't render us in the paint into the uh, reflection, <gasps> unless that's a clue. <laughs> and that mirror is actually a window to a like a separate mirror world. I think it's a window to another. It's yeah, it's a portal. Clearly, obviously. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and. Unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, 
Even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Okay. Well, my room is covered in demon runes, so I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, yeah, it just, it looks like there's... There's a lot there's going on. There's a lot on. going on. A chest with a half circle pattern. Oh, man, maybe we should have gone with subterfuge. Use, oh, we don't have a key. So, hmm. Let's do another scan over. Let scan me... of the room just in case there's a key hanging around somewhere. If, so, remember, like, we keep seeing all these boxes with, like, ten circles, three circles, half a circle. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it, ha if it has anything to do with the moon or something. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's up here? Devil's thorn. Ooh. Uh, or also, also maybe the key comes from what's-his-face when he searches her room. That's a possibility. Like, if we had held her off. Can, well, George Washington, he went into this room. He didn't even say it was covered in demon shit. He was just like, I didn't have enough time to learn anything. You're like, you didn't have enough time to tell me about demons? About the, the clear evidence of... Demon symbols. Do you want to scan around and see if we can go into anyone's room or go downstairs? Um, let's we can take a quick jog around and see. Locked. I feel like we should, cause I mean, going into her room and it was was awesome. Yeah. She seems like somebody I would like definitely want to hang out with. For sure. For sure, like fact. Do do. Nope. I have a feeling they'll all be locked, that but... That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Oh. We can't open it. Damn. Damn. Damn, 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 damn! I do really enjoy how there seem to be some, like... Really interesting be chops. Take a different stairway. So, I think, um... First of all, if there was... was 1791, I, I could just stairway. yell at that person to move. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't want to be impolite to the servants. And if it was 1790, whatever, it would be like, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. This should have been done at 6 a.m. before I even got out of bed. <laughs> Maybe we're just not rude. Hot Frankenstein. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Yeah, I give it to her. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. That swine stole it from me. Always be nice to the oh, monster son. girl. Sarah de Richet's <laughs> son. Yes. She's not wearing Why? shoes. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Oh, ask her why she's interested? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nurse. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. Wow. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Obviously, for yeah. good reason. And next, you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar in Whoa, your head? Whoa, don't my mind your attitude. My heart during the operation. Huh. I lost my memory for six months. 
You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Oh, oh, okay. oh here there we go. There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Uh, we don't... Oh, she's immune to psychology. So use a soft approach. You're right. I... I don't want this conversation to turn into an nice. interrogation. Yes. That's... You've suffered enough already. I I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. You just got triple psychology I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. Okay. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Mention her father. Her sister. Her sister. Her sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares Good about me. Good thing we snuck through all her belongings so she can trust us. For her. Since you insist, tell it unlocked. Settle. Tell you how I met your mother. Oh! Thanks for trusting me. We did it. You see, before I was born. My mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth. When Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Oh, Mom. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. Before she could even exhibit That's how symptoms. I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil. Do you think side. it was really a fit, or do you think like I understand how you feel? I don't but know. They were I already expecting it, and she I'm said, sure "No, I don't want to do that." <laughs> even if it seems difficult to believe, everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. Yeah, right. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. One thing I like about this game is that the main character doesn't have judgy thoughts about the way people look. He makes observations, but he doesn't. Oh like... yeah, but not like the like Max Caulfield esque asides. <laughs> the snark meter isn't like completely out of control. Like when he sees the the Duchess, she's dressed very like scantily for th her time period and he just doesn't even like doesn't even say anything doesn't say anything doesn't even like think in his head what a what a scandalous woman yeah and then when he looks at the woman who he doesn't make like rude thoughts about how she's crazy or something like that yeah and yeah he's he he's just like he does doubt her for a minute because it's like that's his mom well yeah i feel like, like i feel like doubting her is completely understandable in his case because like this is his mom who has raised him with so much love. Well, we don't know about love, but yeah. At least, like, but like when he sees like her scar and stuff, he just notices that it's a scar instead of being like, "Look at that thing." Yeah. Because for the time period, that would have been something that would have been like very strange for people to see. What we're saying is, our expectations of characters have been set so low that. This is great by comparison. 
something's up with this weirdo. I liked it, but um, also, what was I gonna say? I feel I was. I'm wondering I'm, if like, if she really like did take on the evil. Like, it's possible that that's where the storyline is going. But I also wonder like, if they had already decided at birth that the evil had come into her or whatever, rather than maybe. Her, the pregnancy might have caused a chemical change in the mother to make her stop I, having problems. I feel like, so obviously, like, the treatment that she underwent is awful, but I also feel like I believe that this storyline is legitimately going to go towards the occult a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think that um, there, I, there will be some, like, mystical stuff that happens. The, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's like something kind of supernatural going on with her, whether or not, like I don't. I just feel like in the terms of like if if this goes in the direction where it doesn't have magic, like it kind of sets her up for failure. If it's like okay, the baby's evil, and then they're like, I had my first fit when I was three, and I'm wondering like, did did she like float into the air with demons coming out of her eyes or? Did she just have a normal three-year-old tantrum and then they decided, since they had already decided she was evil, mm -hmm. like, oh, that's it. That's the first sign of evilness, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like setting her up for failure if they already decide at birth that this, she must be possessed by something. I mean, even if somebody is possessed, it kind of sets them up for failure if you think, that, you know, when they're yeah. like a baby. Yeah. If a baby's possessed, give them a chance, Okay. Give the baby the benefit of the doubt. Okay. It could be Satan talking they, through them or a normal toddler tantrum. They, you don't know. They could be a changeling or they could just be a brat. It's really, and even if it is a changeling, you should love them anyway because it's still a baby. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I just... Hashtag not all changelings. <laughs> <laughs> changelings deserve love too. Yep. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I th have... I don't think we've asked these, right? I don't think so. Okay. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that this guy, would like, like to know? He's wearing a mask. So he's shady. The end. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? Oh, there's something I noticed about that one guy who wears a lot of makeup. Oh, The home? back of his neck. The back of his neck. It seemed like he has that, um, that, uh, m melanin disorder where, like, it, it doesn't, like, you will slowly lose the melanin in your skin. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, like, maybe that's the reason he, why he wears so much makeup. Hmm. You know the guy who was, like, wearing, like, a lot of, like... Gregory what? Holm. I, I don't remember his name. Yeah. But, like, because if you look at it from, like, if you see at the back of his neck, it's, like... Like, it has that same color pattern of somebody who has, um... I don't remember what it's called. But Maybe I guess the melanin I, slowly leaves your skin. I would have to. I would have to see it because I guess like my first inclination would be is that just a, a bad texture. It didn't look like a bad texture. It looked like it was on on purpose. Interesting. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Ooh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Amber. My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. I still haven't quite recovered after the boat crossing. Would you have any Maltese cross by any chance, please? I... I am sorry, sir, but the Maltese cross may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. 
Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. None of these were worth, like, the points that they're asking for. Well, we don't have the skills anyway. Well, you some of them we did, You have a little but... golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me. What? Please. Whoa. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. See, these are all locked. Yeah. I forget, like, it's totally reasonable for somebody to demand a servant do that for that time period. Mm-hmm. But we're like, rude! Yeah. Questions about the manor. Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer. <laughs> In the rest room on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holmes, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? Yes. What can I find no, on the wait, second floor? The, I know, but that I, I want to know what's on the third floor. But then there's Mortimer, another one that says, sir. I think it's glitched. The yeah, I think on they're... The floor, are his How do I... Chambers. Let me out. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holmes, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Why am I attracted to this Does man in a mask? Does sir have any more questions? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? What's on the first floor? The first what? floor is reserved for guests, sir. That is where sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways will enable sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, sir? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparation. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view this is boring. of the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may oh be reassured it's still going. the building is accessible <laughs> on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. We're just sir, playing with AJ now. Sir should not mm -hmm. find cause to worry. Bored. No beep, one beep, has beep, ever beep, gotten beep, lost. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir uh, another question? No. I don't want to do no. this anymore. No, I want to leave. There's, there's one more, but I don't... No, 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 no. We asked... Yeah, we're all done. We're all done. We did all those. Okay. We're free. Wee. That reminds me of like some of the um, like dialogue in uh, uh, blah, 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 Dragon Age Inquisition, 
where it's like you'd be like, oh hey, I was wondering if I could ask you a question, and they'd be like, let me tell you about the entire history of like my entire family Uh, and my race and this (laughs) and that, and like. It would just keep I was like, put it in the codex. Just put it in the codex. Yeah. I'll read it later. And they would literally talk for like 20 minutes. Remember, we had whole episodes of that Let's Play that was literally like one character conversation. I know. And I'm like, I got it. When are we going to make out? <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. Red Salon. 